it has been um, boring. slow still. Well, I have been to Disney for a week and um, had a good time with the family. Uh, I was there too long, seven days. I uh, went to every park. My wife said we walked like 50 miles, which is ridiculous. I'm ready to be back. Um, I got back Sunday. What's today? Today is Wednesday. Uh, hunted immediately when I got home. I literally, we unpacked the suitcases. I took them down to the basement so she can wash everything and got right in my truck and came out here. Uh, seen six deer that night, uh, no shooters. Um, and um, came out a couple other times. Wind, it's been really windy, uh, windy and warm. So I haven't had the, uh, you know, the desire to get out morning and nights. I've been trying to get out the morning the last couple nights. I stayed up really late last night till 3 a.m. Everybody knows what yesterday was. Um, I got stuck on it and um, anyways, uh, we're out here today. Um, I set out a uh, hub line yesterday and um, I'm uh, kind of excited to hunt out of it actually. Hub line, I've, we've always put one in this spot. We've killed a lot of deer out of this spot because there's a tree stand. There's actually two tree stands right near this one. It's always been a good pinch point, a good idea to... Uh... So I just actually just got back from the archery shop. I shot while I was there, but I want to shoot while I got my, uh, my vinyl pack on. Um, just want to make sure everything's good it is a little breezy today but should be fine um anyways i had a uh knock right tear about an inch so uh it was a little concerning my my broadheads were flying good still but uh it was enough that it was making me nervous so went and got it fixed and now um we should be good to go but i'm gonna run shoot one arrow real quick 20 yards and uh make sure she's good to go so <sighs> So anyways, like I was saying, I uh, took my bow, my lift. Um, I've got, I don't even know how many shots through it, a few hundred. Um, and like I said, I was having a knock right tear. And that's something you should always do is paper tune your bow, especially um, if you're especially shooting fixed broadheads. I mean, your bow should be tuned anyway, but uh, shooting fixed broadheads, which I'm not, I'm shooting the mechanicals, the dead meats. Um, which I love they do we I've been shooting since they came out absolutely love them um, but anyways it's, it's really important to get good arrow flight you should always shoot with a broadhead or you know like g5 you can't really see in here has the practice field uh, points that you can shoot in most targets so it's always a good idea to shoot them uh, make sure and you want to set your bow into that um, it's just important um, I, I'll say it all the time I'm definitely no expert know enough i feel like to be dangerous um just little things to think about you know some people they just you know they grab an old bow or they bought off a buddy for two three hundred bucks and corn got cut hell yeah um and they don't get it tuned half time don't even fit to them uh proper proper draw length everything like that old arrows like this stuff's important you owe it to the animal uh you owe it to yourself but the animal more than anything so take it to a, your local pro shop uh if you live by me Eastern Woods Outdoors, love them guys over there. Uh, great people, um, just go do it. Shoot your, have them shoot your bow through paper once you know that you have the right arrows, um, fuel point, all that type of stuff. Uh, make sure your stuff's right, you owe it to the animal. Uh, I see on the, all these forums lately, a lot of people you know, throwing Hail Mary shots, they say, or um, 50, 60 yard shots with a bow. Like, teach their own, that's, that's, a, that's a poke, you know, especially compound bows. Um, even people with these crossbows, you know, they're just, they're too confident with them and they're wounded animals. I need a dog, you know, uh, obviously it's good for people that are, uh, uh, they do deer tracking with the dogs. It's good for them cause they're making money, but you owe it to the animal, practice more, make sure your equipment's set up right. So that's why we went up there today and I uh, had Eric, he did a little bit of shimming. Guy got it on like within like 10 minutes. My bow was shooting bullet holes. So, uh, let's get to the blind. Uh, it's already Sunday, so I've already been home an entire week, 
and I've maybe seen eight deer the entire time. Either they're out too far or they're babies. Um, did see a goofy looking one of the horns, like instead of growing straight up, it was straight out. You see in the video, kind of neat. But um, next week is gun season. Next Friday, coming up. Uh, super excited about that. Uh, I'm not really ready to hang up the bow yet. I'm gonna, I am gonna hunt this week. Uh, a lot more people are in the woods. I know probably in every state it's that way where there's more hunters in the woods when everybody's wearing orange and they got guns. So um, want to give it this week. Uh, the weather is gonna be up and down. I think Tuesday we're supposed to have 20, 30 mile an hour sustained winds and then who knows what it's gonna gust up to. So obviously not hunting that day. Uh, rainy today, just couldn't get out this morning or tonight. The only two times I wanted to be out, it's raining. So. Uh, Hopefully Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be able to get out. Um, if something changes weather-wise, I'm going to get out. Um, got a couple bucks on camera again. Um, but again, I haven't seen a lot of mature does either. Obviously, I believe lockdown, whatever it be. Uh, don't know. So we're just uh, hard back at work uh, from our vacation. Again, we were in Florida technically eight days. Uh, great time with family. Uh, you should always do that. Take time for your family and even for, for, even for yourself, even though... Three days in, I was so ready to be home. <laughs> Three, four days, just because I knew what I'd have to do when I got back. Obviously, work, because uh, we do clothing brands for all other people. So um, we're back at it. Uh, coming up, some new hat designs. There's going to be some new clothing, you know, clothing in the works. I wish I had one made right here. Should have been wearing it right now, but it's all right. Uh, if you go check out the website, it should be uh, down in the products down below. When you're watching this video, this should pop right up, and I'll take you right to our website. So go take a look at those. Uh, make sure you use YouTube, YouTube, 2024. Okay, uh, that'll give you a discount at checkout for your entire order. Uh, and just you know, continue. We love the support. I was just talking to Logan yeah. uh, yesterday, and um, like we haven't had any like shots on deer. So like I wanted stuff to be exciting for the channel, but also too Logan made a very good valid point, and I and I completely agree to it. Is is Hunting is not always about that, and I, and I know that. But you know, as a YouTube channel, you want to keep things entertaining. And how do you do that? You know, so that's the, kind of the thing I'm trying to work on: is what are we going to continue to do to keep the, the channel entertaining? Now that we're monetized, like that—that that was my biggest goal. Other than that, I got to get back to the clothing. I have three other clothing brands. I got to get stuff finished up today. Again, it's Sunday. I want to get everything out ready out Monday, and I'm hoping to get some more uh, videos back out for you guys. Hopefully, some entertaining stuff. And that will, guys, catch you guys on the next one.